Hey guys, Spider Dude here, and welcome back to another video. Marvin, why don't you bring out today's figure that we're going to take a look at? Thank you, Marvin. Alright, so today guys, continuing our look at some of the new PNSO mini dinosaur figurines, we're going to be taking a look at this. This is Zhao Yu, the Tian Yu Long. Now I haven't heard of this species prior to PNSO making this figure, and uh, I can't wait to get this one out of the packaging. This is a very unique looking figurine. But before we break this one out of the packaging, here are a few quick little facts about Tian Yu Long itself. This animal's full name is Tian Yu Long Confucius Eye. Tian Yu Long itself means Tian Yu Dragon. It was a heterodontosaurid from the Jurassic period of what is now China. Now the thing that's possibly the most interesting about Tian Yu Long are the presence of what are thought to be large proto feathers that ran along the neck and the back of the animal. These were most likely used for display, and another interesting fact is that Tian Yu Long was the first heterodontosaurid to be discovered in Asia. But yeah, there's a couple quick little facts about Tian Yu Long itself, but why don't we go ahead and break this one out of the packaging. Packaging is exactly the same as Carlos the Concavenator, ca eh, Car Carlos the Concavenator, except it says Zeyu the Tianyu Long ex instead of Carlos the Concavenator. And in the back we have like this nice little cave almost with some rocks on it. It's mostly black, but I think this is suggesting that this animal may might have been nocturnal or something. And this is number 35 out of this series. But the only way to open this packaging is to cut the top, which means we have to cut part of the poster that's on the inside as well. But that's okay seeing how, whoa, that just went flying across my room. Okay, whatever. But uh, that's okay because I'm not going to be able to hang these posters up anyway because they're a little bit on the awkward side. But they could very well just send you these figures in like little plastic packages without these posters and everything. But I think it's really cool that they include these. Uh, but let's open it up. Just rip the packaging all the way around. And let's get the little spread out here first to take a look at it. Uh, so this one opens up in... Oh, it's the same way as the cabinator. Okay. Oh, this one, like... Ooh, they get wet or something? It's ripping. That's not good. And there's the art of Tian Yu Long. That is <laughs> a very interesting art. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that one. That's uh, quite monstrous, and that's quite a tail you've got there, buddy. That's a really long tail. Um, it says Zayu the Tian Yu Long in the bottom there. Length 0.7 meters. Oh, this is a Small boy, very small boy. Um, diet herbivorous, it says lived in the Cretaceous, but it actually lived in the Jurassic from my research. So, unless my research was incorrect from what I saw, but I'm gonna say Jurassic, I'm gonna say they were wrong here. And then found in China, Asia, cool beans. And then the rest of it is all in uh, Chinese on the back, so we're not gonna be able to read any of that today. If anyone speaks Chinese, feel free to read the to pause the video and read it and tell me what it says in the comments. That'd be interesting, actually. Uh, but let's break uh, Zeyu. I hope I'm saying that right. Throw that plastic down there. And here is Zeyu, the Tianyu Long, out of the packaging. And I've got to say, I already like this one way better than the Concavenator. It's overall substantially larger. We'll do a comparison in a minute. Again, though, it feels very flimsy. The legs are very rubbery, so I can see this one. Yeah, this one's definitely going to warp and bend on its face over time, which is really unfortunate. Um, but the coloration, oh my goodness, the colors here are absolutely gorgeous. The bird-like colors are great. I love the black band going down the body there with the white stripes going down the side. Um, the... Proto feathers going down the top of the body, all the way down the tail, those are great. This really gives a, a unique look to uh, this animal overall. Head sculpt looks great. I love the big black eyes there. Uh, feathering detail, fantastic. The base, once again, very similar in style to the concavenator with a slightly more reddish brown color that's been used. Um, nice washing and dry brushing overall there. Um, but yeah, I also like the positioning of the little forelimbs as well. But yeah, that's... That's Zayu, the Tian Yu Long, and I hope I'm saying the name Zayu right. Zay, Zhao, Zhao Yu, Zhao Yu, the Tian Yu Long. I hope it was, somebody corrected me in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. But let's zoom out here and let's do a little comparison quickly. Alrighty, so here is Zayu, the Tian Yu Long, and here is Carlos the Concavenator. And you can see what I mean. How uh, this one is just overall more worth it just for the size alone. This thing is. It's really big. And then here's Nada, the little Spinosaurus, just a 
throw in the back there so you can get an idea of the size of all of these guys. Uh, yeah, this one's definitely my favorite overall. Uh, I love the colors on the concavenator as well, but um, I really like the Tian Yulong overall. It feels more solid, it feels more sturdy, and uh, yeah, even though I feel like it's going to bend over on its face over time, but still. Very nice figurine. And while we're here, let's do a quick measurement of this figure. So Marvin, why don't you bring out the ruler? Thank you, Marvin. All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now. So let's give this Tian Yu Long a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the tail to the tip of the snout, we are looking at about three inches, which is about eight centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the tail there, we are looking at about three and three quarter inches, which is about nine and a half centimeters. Well guys, I think that's going to be it for this review of the new 2019 Xeyu, the Tian Yu Long from PNSO. I think this one's more worth it overall in comparison to Carlos the Concavenator. And looking off to the side here, Carlos is actually already falling over due to the warping problem, which is unfortunate. So I hope this one stay, um, holds up well because I like this one better overall. Uh, I am hoping to get the Nemi Coleopterus soon once it's back in stock. That's the other one that I really want to take a look at on the channel. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts on this one. If you want to get this one for yourself and any other of the brand new PNSO mini dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures, there are so many of them available. You can get them on PNSO's Amazon.com shop. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, I will see you in my next one. So take care and bye-bye. <laughs>